Hello all, so welcome to another class of this beginner's Kotlin tutorial. So today we are going to discuss about the getters and setters in Kotlin. So when you are discuss about, discussing about getters and setters in Kotlin, I think it is really uh, good if you are explaining it with the help of a Java class first. So I am going to create a Java class now. And I am going to name it as sample. Java class. So I'm going to give it two properties, uh, two variables. I mean, private string, a name, and a raw number. This will be an integer, uh, raw number, right? So next thing, uh, we have to give the getters and setters to this sample Java class. So in order to do that, you can do it something like uh, generate getters and setters with the help of the IDE. So I'm going to do that. Uh, it is asking me which all properties you want to create getters and setters I want I need both properties to create one so I created so it is like uh, get name set name get raw number and set raw number so you can see that it's already like uh, 15 16 lines of code uh, just for just creating the getters and setters right so I'm going to create a dicto Kotlin class uh, and let's uh, dicto Kotlin class and create the same number of properties in it and I'm going to name it as sample Kotlin class so the two properties will be name and raw number right so you must be thinking like where are the getters and setters so the truth is that you don't have to create the getters and setters explicitly like you did with the java class because kotlin already created those automatically created those getters and setters for these two properties so you don't have to create it explicitly and you can save a lot of lines of code like 50 lines of code when you compare it java so it is really concise and it has reduced a lot of boilerplate. There can be certain situations where you definitely have to control the getters and setters manually for some precise outputs, right? Uh, like in Java. So Kotlin gives you that ability. Kotlin uh, has that ability to override those getters and setters as well. So let's see that. So like earlier, Let's create a Java class and uh, create a detail of that Kotlin class and see. So it will be more helpful for you. So I'm going to create another Java class. And I'm going to name it as employee Java class. And I'm going to give it three properties. First name. last name and just a name so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, return the value of first name and last name in the variable name and I'm going to split the uh, full name that is the name as first name and last name in the setter so let me create the setter get one setter first so I'm not going to create a set get run setters for first name and last name. I'm just going to create it for name because that will be enough. So like I said, I'm going to return the get name as return first name space last name. And I'm going to set the name as uh, so the hypothetically we are thinking like the name will contain the first name and last name so it, without a space or something so I'm going to do it something like I'm going to split it uh, and uh, split it into two parts as first name and last name so I'm going to create a string array name array will be equal to name dot split this is just uh, the java standard library functions and first name will be equal to 
name array of zero because we are expecting the first name will be the first part of that array before the space and the last name will be equal to name array of one right so what happened here is uh, this will definitely uh, the get name will return first name space last name the set name will uh, create the first name and last name from the name variable so this is how you can override or I modified the getter and setter in Java so let's see how we can override or modify the getters and setters in Kotlin the same way so I create a Kotlin file this will be named as employee Kotlin class plus employee Kotlin class and let us create those properties the first will be first name it will be a string and I am not sure it will be a there will be a value to it so I am going to pass it as null that it can be null and last name that too in the same way next the name so in the java class we use the name to create the getters and setters so here also i'm going to override the getter and setter of the name so how to override the getter first so you just add it like get and get equal to something so this will be first name i'm going to return it as first name plus last name right we can join it like this so this is how you can override a getter in kotlin class and it's showing some error because it it is not initialized there so i'm going to uh, set uh, create a setter to initialize the value so it will be like set of value right and uh, let's create the same functionality here the i'm going to create a name array it will be like name dot split this is again one of the helpful libraries from the Kotlin standard library and first name will be equal to name array of zero and last name will be equal to name array of one so if you have checked or if you have compared it with the java class uh, the difference is that you don't even have to use the this keyword or anything because this set will be enough for you to do that and this is how you can uh, e exploit or override the getter and setter in Kotlin compared with the Java class. So I really hope you are able to understand about the Kotlin getters and setters. So in the next class we will discuss about the top level functions in the Kotlin. So till that goodbye, stay safe and if you really like the video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get instant notifications thank you so much